guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share likes and videos. This will help you a lot when you take the board exam, engineer's board exam, teacher's board exam, and at the same time in your college entrance test. And as well as civil service, don't forget to subscribe my video, share likes and watch. And at the same time, for those who are engineering students, please use also your calculator properly and also for the teacher's board exam. Okay, let's try to proceed for number 30. This is question number 30. The product of two numbers is 32 and their difference is 4. What are the two numbers? So think of the number that represents as an X and Y is 32. And then x minus y is 4. So the product of 32 are 1 times 32 is 32. 8 times 4 is 32. And then seems to be that 8 minus 4 is 4. So the answer is 8 and 4. Take note. This is the equation, the product, and the difference. The answer is letter B because 8 times 4 is 32 and 8 minus 4 is 4. Okay, let's have question number 31. Let's try to erase everything. Uh, question number 31. Find the inverse of fx is equals to 2x minus 3 and we know when you speak about f of x we are referring y is equals to function of f of x so we change y is equals to 2x minus 3 and therefore we need to get the value of x so again y is equals to 2x and we need to change this one plus 3 and divided by 2 divided by 2 the answer is 3 plus y over 2 which equivalent to x so the answer is the answer is x y plus 3 so y and 3 over 2 the answer is letter b okay let's try to answer again for number 32 where is my number 32 here 32 what is the root equation on the given x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0 again let's try to erase this one guys this is very easy x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equals to zero you will use the three formula take note it can be quadratic formula completing the square and the factoring method so which is the best for you we know that this is 5x and 6 think of the number that the product and the sum so x we needed to present x plus 2 x plus 3 because 2 and 3 is 5 2 times 3 is 6 this will be the 6 and the answer is x plus 2 is equals to 0 and x plus 3 is equals to 0 and then transpose this will become negative 2 and the answer is negative 3 so the answer is negative 2 and 3 and the answer is letter c okay so if you are doubt with your answer, you can also use quadratic formula as well as completing the square. But it seems to be that very time consuming. Please, reminder everybody, use only one formula if you are already sure. Okay, in order not to be hurry, as much as possible, master everything, your, uh, the formula. Okay. Let's have this one. Question number 33. 
what is the degree if the region is 5 pi over 6? When we speak about the degree, this is 5 pi over 6. So we need to change this one as 180 over 5. And we cancel and cancel this one. So 5 times 180 is what? This is 900. Is that correct? 0. So raise 8 times 40 plus 1 is 9. So 900 divided by 6. What's the answer? 900 divided by 6 is 150. So the answer is 150. We know that 900 divided by 6. We have 1, 6. We have 50. We have uh, 5. Is that correct? Oh, sorry. This is 3. This is 3. And then 0. The answer is 150. Okay. The answer for the degree. And you need to recall 180 over 5 if we will change that in degree. If it's region, we need to pi over 180. Take note, huh? 180 if this, if this is for the degree and this is for the region. Pi 1 over 80. You need to recall everything about your uh, geometric or the geometric or in uh, getting to answer this one so again okay so question number 34 what is the remainder 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 3 take note guys take note guys this is the remainder we need to know only the remainder not the factor so there are three methods in order to get the remainder one is the synthetic division and the other one is long division method and at the same time the remainder theorem so remainder theorem we can also use the remainder theorem so what will you do if that is x minus 3 you will change that to x is equals to 3 so 3 multiplied by 3 squared minus the 2x minus the 4. So we'll change this one to multiply by 3. So 3 squared times 3 is 9 minus 6 minus 4. This is 27 minus 6 minus 4. So 27 minus 6 is 21. 21 minus 21 minus 4 is 17. So the answer here is 17. So the remainder is 17. 17. Take note. 17. So this is the remainder. So the answer is letter B. Okay, but for those who don't have, even though you do not, this is very simple, even the elementary can do that, even the high school. But in the long division method, we have 3x squared, sorry, 3x squared, Minus 2x minus 4. You divide that to x minus 3. So you can use this method also. And we can also use the synthetic division. Look for the numerical coefficient of 3, negative 2, and negative 4. And the same time, it's 3, then so on. Then you will get also the remainder. So it's up to you. We can use this long division, synthetic division, or the remainder children. But as long as they are both correct answer. Just to only avoid the time consuming. So again. Okay, let's have question number 35. 
This is question number 35. 16 raised to negative x and 1 over 64. That's the value of x. Again, this is exponential equation. So 16. What do we think? So 64, let's try to have 2 to the 4th negative x is equals to 1 over 64. How will change this one into 2 again? So we know that 2 to the 5th is 64, right? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 64. But this is 1 over 64. So we'll change this one to 2. 4 times negative x. Uh, sorry. Negative x. 2 to the negative 5. So our equation will be 4 times negative x is equals to negative 5. The answer is negative 4x, negative 5, so divided by negative 4, negative 4. So the answer is 5 over 4. Okay, so the answer is 5 over 4, our x. Is there any answer for this one? 2 thirds, 3 half, 1 half, or none of the above? I think the answer is none of the above because the answer is 5 over 4. So, that is letter D, if there will be no choices. If there will be choices, okay, that will be the answer. Okay. Let's have problem number 36. Let's have problem number 36. Okay, what is the product of 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3? Okay, this is already in. Let's try to erase again. Okay, 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. So, we know that 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3, we can use this one is a foil method. This is uh, negative 9. This is, we have 6x and we have negative 6x and then 4x squared. If we will add negative 9 and then cancel, 4x squared is the answer. So the answer is 4x squared minus 9. So the answer is letter B. But there, this is very easy. All you have to do if you think this is plus and minus, 2x squared times 2x squared is 4x squared. Positive 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. This is the sum and difference of two terms. Okay, let's have... Problem number 37. Do we have problem number 37? Okay, problem number 37. What is the value of negative one half raised to zero is, is equals to x? Okay, this is the rule for the exponential equation. For the exponent, any number raised to zero is equal to one. Ignore. This will be, so the answer is letter B. Mom, what if two, two third raised to zero, is that one also? Yes, because this will be equal to 1 if that will be our answer. So any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay guys, thank you very much. And we will proceed for this video number 6. And so on. And we will continue to recall everything on your map. Thank you again. And share 